Hey guys, how you going? Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel. Hope you're all having a fabulous day. And as always, guys, remember that autodidactic means to be self-educated. And we all need to be self-educated because if we're not, the only choice we have left is to believe what other people tell us. And we can see what kind of a state that attitude has got the world in. Uh, so today, I want to look at a place called Germantown. I came across this when I was doing research for another video, and it just, you know, Germantown, one word, just jumped out at me. It's in New York, and so it's up in the place yeah, where a lot of the early uh, colonization happened. So uh, the area is currently known as Germantown and was originally occupied by the Mohicans, in the early 18th century, Heinrich Orpitmut <laughs> recorded the movement of his people that had brought them to settle along the rivers that would later be named the Delaware and the Hudson. Those who had continued north settled in the valley uh, in the river named Mahuniku. So this is talking about the uh, Indians and how they got in, how they sort of got to that region and it says that they lived in wigwams and long houses along the river. The woodlands were abundant with food and they raised corns, beans and squash. In September 1609, Henry Hudson, a trader for the Dutch, sailed up the Mahi Kan Ituk. <laughs> the valley was rich with, with beavers and otters, uh, whose fur the Dutch coveted. And in 1614, a trading post was established. So this is pretty early. As the fur trade expanded, making desired furs harder to find, tensions arose between the Mohicans and the Mohawks, who each sought to maintain their share in the fur trade. Now, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It says that the Dutch have come in, this Henry Hudson, and I guess the Hudson River would be named for Henry Hudson. And he's come in and started a trading post, but then it says that the war breaks out between the Mohicans and the Mo and the Mohawks, the uh, indigenous inhabitants. Now, why would they be? It just doesn't make sense that they would be fighting each other rather than the invaders, and that they would be going out and destroying, you know, killing all the animals. That's that's not. Uh, the culture that they have. They don't go around and, and just, you know, rape and destroy the natural world. So that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. That sounds very made up. I think I'm going to call BS on that one. Yeah, we, we called it a bullshit. <laughs> uh, and then it goes down to say, uh, the Hudson Valley dwindled almost completely by the end of the 17th century. Mohicans were especially affected. European wars, such as King Philip's Wars, where soldiers from Massachusetts and Connecticut attacked Mohicans. Nice. So, in general, after war, Mohicans sold land to the Dutch in exchange for needed resources lost in the destruction of indigenous farming and preserved resources. Now, that's a strange thing to say, isn't it? that after the war that the Mohicans sold all their land to the Dutch in exchange for resources lost in the what? lost in the destruction of indigenous farming. Uh, so I'm not really sure what they're trying to say that. It sounds like they're trying to say that uh, during the war all their crops and farms were destroyed and so they had no food, I'm guessing is what they're saying there, and so they had to to base, I mean, listen to this, they had to then swap what? Their, their land, which they grew their food on, for food that would only last them until they ate it. Uh, this just, this sounds like a completely made up narrative to me. It, that's not making sense at all. Uh, yeah, we, we called it a bullshit. <laughs> As more and more Europeans arrived and settled, and settled on the land, the Mohicans' self-reliance and reliance on the land was eroded by increased dependency on the settlers and their provisions. Well, there you go. And that's how they destroy cultures, isn't it? Settlers began dividing the land, establishing fences and boundary lines. Eventually, the Mohicans were driven from their territory 
and continued to move east during the early 1700s. So that took, you know, less than 100 years. And if you decipher that story, they've basically come in, uh, started up fur trade, seen that there was natural resources they could exploit. Sounds like they've had some trouble with the, uh, the owners of that land, you know, the natural inhabitants. And so wars have broken out, scuffles. Uh, they've tried to turn the tribes on each other. That probably didn't work. That's probably just all made up. Then the king sent an army in uh, just literally to go in and destroy them all. And they did that. They destroyed all their crops and all their land and then stole the land for themselves and put up fences and basically sold it to people. They so, so, you know, stole this land that wasn't theirs and then they would have sold it to the new settlers and the settlers took it over and used it to make money. So this is what happens and this is what is still happening. Here's just a couple of early maps. Zitjen and Stenschleifen des Amerikans Pennsylvania, under New York. Uh, 1777, this says. Doesn't really show a lot though, does it? Okay, so here's some of the buildings. Uh, this is Germantown. Historic buildings. And this one here is the YWCA. And as you can see, stairs up to the front door and windows all the way around, going straight into the ground, completely symmetrical, old world, red, red brick, and just in a state of disrepair. And this one they're going to, uh, there's a restoration thing going on and they'll probably turn it into a hotel or something, who knows. But yeah, clearly, look at this, you know, nice big lintels and windows going straight into the ground. You know, all got their keystones. Uh, here's an old shot. This one said it was, uh, it actually said 1900, I think. But look at this again, just an old world brick, solid brick building. And you can see this is the kind of you know, machinery they had for transportation. And uh, these barn doors up here, you see this a lot. I'm just, I was wondering, I don't know if there was maybe something on the front of this and there were actual doors, if there was a balcony, I'm not sure, but it's also uh, off the ground, raised up, you can see there. So probably going down further because just in there, it looks like there's a window going into the ground. This is uh, the town hall in Germantown. And this, uh, here we go, the old town hall, Germantown town hall. Uh, now this is it, I think. No, this is even better than Merchants Exchange, but have a look at the interior of this place. And this again was supposed to be built, um, this uh, 1700s, I believe. As you can see, it's not level. We've got stairs going up and just complete old world Tartarian architecture. And look at it inside. Look at this, the height of the ceilings here. Pillars, huge doorways. You know, completely unnecessary for a, you know a little colony because at the moment Germantown, the population's around 1400 and it, it, you know in its boom it wasn't much more than that but they felt the need to build these huge buildings and we see this all over the world they do this just build these unnecessary buildings um, and look at this ceiling I mean just just I mean just so much goes into that you know all the apart from the design and the construction, there's all the, the tradesmen that you need, the artisans, the materials. Uh, it's just, just for that. You know, when you're setting up a new colony, right? Uh, so there we go. Here's another building. You see a lot of these in this area too. This stone type building. This is an old church, but it's a cemetery here. But you see a lot, and, and you see this as well in the brick constructions, the bigger bricks used in the corners. 
um, it's probably you know to make them stronger and this construction is the uh, you know the brick rock construction you see it a lot but see this is different at the end see it steps down and you can see that's clearly an addition it's got a funny window this is all symmetrical and larger see this is smaller and it's got different colored mortar so clearly the same brick so that's an add-on so how old is this is this an original building because that's a big solid building for someone to be building um, again this was back 1700s and this says historic uh, German town located six miles northwest of downtown Philadelphia it's one of America's most historic neighborhoods originally part of 5,700 acres that William Penn sold to two groups from the Rhine region of what is now Germany. German Township was a processing center made up of diverse groups of craftsmen and cottage industries where raw materials from outlying countries were turned into finished goods for the sale at market in Philadelphia. And here we have uh, some pictures, if we can get to them. So this is the oldest house, they're saying, in Germantown. Again, here's the bricks. See the bricks on the corners? And, you know, big three-story house. Bricks go, uh, stairs going up to the front door. Looks like there's a window in there. So this is probably a mud flutter. And look at all the outbuildings. And again, is this an add-on or is that something that's lost its roof? I'm not sure, but... But look at this, that's a big, that's a good sized two story house. So look you know, how big is this thing? Um, is that the date? No, it doesn't have a date, it's built. Here's another one. Again, this is that uh, rock construction that we see. Big three story house up off the ground. Looks like it's got an add-on on the back, or at least they've recovered and refurbished that. Another one, big three-story brick house. Now, is this really the kind of thing that, that, that they're going to be building? Oh, look at this. We've got some designs. Wow, designs. And they've, look, see this? They've designed it into the ground, guys. Look at that. It's like, oh, there's a bit of a dip there, so we'll just design the house into the dip. We don't need foundations for these big brick buildings. <laughs> oh, that's great, isn't it? Uh, and there was, where was this other building I wanted to show you? Uh, this is it, the Germantown High School. And here's a picture of it, the Germantown Central School, Germantown, New York. And look at this one, complete mud flutter too. And again, just, I mean, this is a high school. Look at the size of it. And I said, you know, at the moment, it's, it's not even 1,500 people population. And in its prime, I, I, don't, I think it said it got up to like 4,000. And they're building things like this. I mean, just, that just doesn't make sense at all, does it? It's just ridiculous, really. And here's another picture. Look at the size of this thing. Look at this. And again, up on a mound. Up off the ground, stairs going up. And... I mean, it looks like it's got a skyscraper on the top of it. Can't quite see it all there. And here we have the Pennsylvania School for the Deaf. Because the deaf need to be taught in a castle now. Look at this, guys. Look at that. See that archway? Filled in, of course. And it turned that into steps. So what's going on there? Is that a... I mean, it looks like the same construction, so I wonder what was under that archway. Was it a bridge going over a moat, maybe? Who knows? Everything's symmetrical. I mean, look, that's just... That's a castle. It's just a castle. And I also wanted to show you... Oh, here's some more old buildings. And this is, you know, again... Or maybe this is the oldest house in German town. Again, huge Tartarian structures, just, you know, all over the place. But this, uh, this is, this is in Pennsylvania, 
same region but a different state and this is called Hope Town and it's a nice old world town and you can see here again we have this same brick construction and can you see that window there going straight into the ground there's one there too okay so so this brick construction um, you know is, is old world it's just another type of construction they did and it's almost like the polygonal stuff isn't it but yeah look at that windows I mean that's literally just the top of the lintel uh, see these are wooden so these you know would have been built later and you can see they're not that big pretty small this obviously is a later building but look what it's sitting on this big footing this big foundation and can you see what's in front of it here this is a canal man-made canal and look massive massive stones cut stone and man-made canals going through this town and I mean I've, I have mentioned this on other videos I think these things are everywhere and there are people who have, who have studied rivers and say that pretty much all rivers are man-made and I would say that a lot of them are especially the smaller ones I mean look at this again you know Bucky's County Playhouse have built their business on top of these old foundations okay big archway here that's been filled in right on the canal you know walls going straight into the water and they've just built on top of it here's the, they've still got their old train tracks and their old train here's the old train station and this thing's actually got a big spire on it. There it is there. It's got a nice big spire on it. Hope Town, Pennsylvania. All right, so there you go, guys. Just thought I'd show you that. Another bit of a walk through New York State. And uh, that place is just full, full of Tartarian architecture. And I just wanted to quickly show you this, guys. This is Wacky Peter again. Colonial Germantown Historic District. Uh, it's got a few dates here, but I wanted to show you here. These are all buildings. Every single one of them is in Germantown. And this is, again, the town with, you know, under 1,500 people in it. And look at this. All big brick buildings. You know, there's churches and cathedrals and all types of stuff. So these are the dates that they're all built. 1801, 1876, 1744, 1748, 1698, that's a cemetery. Uh, 1798, 1796, 1798, 1760, 1949, that's a late one, though it still looks very castle-like. 1871 for a big cathedral. 1803, 1907. This is the German town hall that we had a look at, and there's actually no date here, and it says never actually served as the town hall. So I guess the question is, why is it called the town hall, the old town hall? Is that... The building that was used as the town hall by the original inhabitants when the parasites turned up who knows uh, 1690 1770 1768 1775 1693 that's another cemetery 1763 1798 1793 1727 1770 1895 1896 1740 1880 1926 1920s no date for this one with a nice big you know bell tower with a dome on it 1792 1804 and 1790s for all these big brick tartarian buildings in a small little town with a population of under 1500 people so you can imagine that everyone in germantown must be in the building industry and this is with, without even asking the question of where did all the materials come from? Where were all the manufacturing plants for all the materials? And where were the schools? Where were the trade schools and colleges and everything to train all these people, all these 
bricklayers and cement workers and window fitters and you know iron workers and scaffold makers how did they get up there to make them so tall uh, so yeah all these buildings built in germantown starting back in the 1600s so i hope you enjoyed that one guys thanks for spending some time with me again links are in the description if you have the means to support this channel it does help me to get out more content and improve my uh, equipment uh, which i'm badly in need of a new computer this one's failing pretty badly at the moment uh, so yeah anything any help you can give you know if you are able of course uh, would be greatly appreciated so have a fantastic day and i'll catch you on the next upload bye for now